Hit Loria. Now you know we love us some Issa Rae from Woo-hoo. her hit series on HBO Insecure. Love her. Well, now you can listen to two seasons of her acclaimed podcast, Fruit, and that's on Stitcher Premium. Now, this gripping audio drama tells the story of X, an African-American pro football player on a journey of self-discovery and sexual exploration. What does that mean? I don't know. Written and directed by Issa Rae, the Sarah Award says Fruit raises the bar on what is possible in audio fiction. Now, you can start listening to Fruit now with a one-month free trial to Stitcher Premium. All you have to do is go to stitcherpremium.com slash fruit and use promo code Angela at checkout to get your free month. That's stitcherpremium.com slash F-R-U-I-T. Ah, shit. What's up? It's Lip Service. This might be one of our biggest guests ever. Oh. <laughs> I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm L'Oreal. And? I'm D.L. Hughley. That's I just right. like the way you say I'm Stephanie hey. Santiago. I never look up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's that Latin disinterested thing. I... <laughs> <laughs> How hard is it nowadays when people are always on their phone? It, I, well, I think it's why we're we are the way we are as a society. Mm-hmm. I think that's why we're disinterested. I think that that's why we, we have no empathy. I think that's why people, you know, a woman will get beat and some dude will take pictures of whatever to get uh, while she's unconscious to get likes because yeah, I think people people there's no human connection anymore. Yeah, the craziest things happen on social media, and we yeah. really don't kind of feel too bad. No, yeah. people make jokes out of everything. Yeah, they do. Like Tyrese crying. Oh, yeah. yeah, I knew that was crazy. That was horrible, though. Yeah. yeah. I was like, there, he can't see his kid. He hasn't seen his kid in right. two months, and everybody's making songs about it and it's, laughing I and think they say, what? Well, I have kids and I cry when they come home, but that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> out of tears of joy. I'm right, sure. Like, Shit, you motherfuckers won't leave. But oh, but I, I think that you can't as a society. Uh, the bad thing about social media is it catches you at your worst moments and then your best. And 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 everybody has a prism. Like it used to be, in order to say something dumb, somebody had to ask you a question. Now you can just get on your phone. I, it's just to me when I saw Tyrese. As a black man and as a father, it's the reason why men of color don't really express themselves like that because they're, you know... Because people make women. fun of you. Yeah. Right. yeah so. But you yeah. have to admit, the whole part of him of him saying that he's broken these money, I was That's like... And then he got $5 million from Will and Jada. I was like, $5 million. I'm going to cry on your podcast right now so if I get enough to cover this <laughs> bourbon. Wait, I didn't hear that. They gave him $5 yes. million? He posted yeah, it. He said, shut the thing. fuck up. He right. posted yeah. a post. They told him to stay on social media yeah. and then he goes on social media and Save posts it. They posted a picture of him and Will Smith saying like, oh, they just gave me $5 million. Yeah. Um, Oh, nah. I didn't, did I didn't yeah. cry for that when cry. I, <laughs> he did, he the did $5 million dollar cry. <laughs> when I saw him crying, I didn't find it funny. I, it was just like, oh, my God. Yeah. They made I, a I just, song out of it. I you just feel bad it? about it? I felt bad, yeah, but wow. I just feel like, you know, some things you just shouldn't put on the Internet, no. you mm-hmm. know, like. So, I mean, whatever. Yeah, I but they look at our whole society, our president, mm. you know, the biggest He's reality show. With it's, the Twitter. He's it's, disgusting. It's I'm so sorry. I it's think that's, that's, that's what we do. Right. That's what we do. It's not, it's not, have you ever put anything on social media that you regretted after? Mm. I, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I just think, you know, it's. I remember when Debbie Allen died. Debbie Reynolds died. I did oh my this joke. Debbie yeah. Allen. Yeah. Wow. Debbie Allen. I'm sorry. You heard no, it here no, first. No, no. Oh my God. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, no. Debbie and Norm. I'm sorry. But when she died, I told you know I did a joke and uh, and people got all upset. But to me, it's just like. I, I don't know you. What the fuck? I care what you think of me. That's like I, I don't. I, I really. I think these when you're younger, um, you you tend to get affirmation from people that have no idea who you are, no connection to you, and I, you look for it in all the wrong. The, not I don't know, even though it's necessarily know it's the wrong places, but you look for it in different places. And I, I just think social media is a tool mm-hmm. um, that you use, no different than a hammer. I mean, it mm-hmm. can it can build a house or you can. Hit your fucking hand and hurt yourself. So it doesn't. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's or you can a tool. Kill yeah, now, did you, you see? Because now, as a comedian, sometimes, right, it feels like the world that we live in is a lot more, you know, PC right now. It shouldn't be. But it is, don't you think? I think it's actuality. In actuality, it's not. When you let children get churned, it's like, when you let children get killed in church and you don't do shit about that and you care about what joke I tell, mm-hmm. fuck you. Who cares? Right. Like, you, you, yeah. you watch people die and brutalize themselves at, 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 at your hand. And the worst thing you could like, like to me, 
uh, the cat that played Frank, Frank Underwood fondled somebody, oh, and he yeah. lost his job playing president. But the real president fondled somebody, and he still and he's got fine. in. He's good. Uh-huh. Yeah, I ain't never thought about it's, it like it's that. Why not? Why, yeah. why, a society that doesn't, a society that gets mad at a cat like Colin Kaepernick for making making a. Uh, you know, a principal stands. Mm-hmm. They don't get mad at that. They get mad at him and they call him a traitor. But they want monuments to people who actually betrayed the country. Right. Like Robert E. Lee killed more Americans than Hitler. And he mm-hmm. gets a fucking statue and you more mad at the nigga that just wants you to stop killing him. I, I, I have no use for people that, that have no judgment, that have no uh, kind of continuum of experiences to, to, to judge me from. Does it get discouraging sometimes where you just feel like, man, what is this world that we live in? Because I think that at least twice a week. It's crazy. Yeah, what kind of world do we live in? I do that yeah. twice every hour. <laughs> Listen, I be looking at the news, and news makes me depressed. So sad. Does it? It does. The news, like I was watching, um, the woman whose son died from cancer. Yeah, the little boy. Oh, oh my, my god, god. Yeah. that was. I was like bawling, crying, watching all of that happen. Yeah. And then you know, like you said, the shooting that happened, the mass shooting in Texas in the church, and then you see the pastor's daughter, and you see a family of eight people killed. But you know what's so funny? By the white man. What, 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 what is funny is, first of all, when a white dude got three names, you shouldn't sell him a gun. <laughs> the mother Wayne Gate, they always got three names and a Wayne fucked up haircut. Gate. You should never. And three every time. And a fucked up haircut. They always have three names. They always use all three of them. They always have a fucked up haircut. And every time they show a high school picture of them, it looked like they was crazy. Right. right. So you Their should. be all messed up. Right. <laughs> you should arrest them motherfuckers as soon as the film gets developed. Come here. Olin Mills, come, come yeah, with I'm us. I'm scared it's of crazy. them. All right, now I want to ask you this. The holidays are coming up, right? Sure. Now, imagine this, because we know you've been married for 31 years, right. so you don't have to worry about these things. Right. But let's just say... Well, my girlfriend I do, but not my, oh. my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you saying that? We, we, we had a whole discussion about you um, before yeah, you Yeah, we did. Okay. So, like, way. he doesn't cheat anymore. But... um. Because I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see Carlito's way when he go? I didn't. I didn't rehabilitate. I ran out of wind. I just like, <laughs> Listen, I always say this. My ex boyfriend, when I was younger, he cheated on me, and his mom told me, "You know when men stop cheating? When they get too tired to do it." She was right. like, "His stepfather used to cheat on me all the time, and then he got too old and too lazy and right. too tired to do it. You just gotta wait it out." Right. Mm. What I was age like, is "He's that? only 26." Oh, shit. that's oh, yeah, gonna be a long time. Waiting 30 years, 20 years, and medication. <laughs> wait, <this long>. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you gotta wait till we need you. Why? Is that okay? This is what I never understood. Oh God! So there are eleven women to burden. every man mm-hmm. on the face of the earth. Right? Not in China. Uh, that was just something worldwide. Eleven <laughs> men to every face. Every eleven women. Excuse me. Every every eleven women to women every to every man. man on the face uh, of the earth. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so like if it. every man was faithful to a woman, it'd be a woman. It'd be ten angry broads. <laughs> that would be it. Be ten, and I don't well, want the world to be five. like that. I don't know if that statistic is correct. <laughs> uh, I think it's ten. I think. But it's what ten about like gay people, gay they, men? See, that makes it fuck more even fucked worse. up. Even worse. Why? It, it cuts the ratio it down, down all, even more. Yeah. Yeah. It That's like up the Atlanta. numbers. But you, okay, so what about you? You think men shouldn't be monogamous? What about women? Are we are we built to be monogamous? I think that that if you are, I don't like that women take our worst qualities. To say that you're like, you're like the only reason to be with a woman is because she makes you better than you would otherwise be. But if she starts acting like you would act, then what's the point? If you don't elevate me, if you don't make me aspirational, if you don't make me want to do things and be better than I am, I, I, it always it galls me when women want to act like the very worst of us, like take on our very worst attributes, and they're not equipped to be that way. I see it now. Here's what I think. I think that mm-hmm. the way that society is now, I think at a certain point in time, women had to put up with a lot because we didn't have jobs. Our job was to hold down the household. The men were bringing home the bacon. And you kind of felt stuck in a relationship. And that happens, you know, sometimes even now. But as women are becoming the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs, sure. as we're getting out sure. there and working, we're realizing, well, he did some fucked up shit to me. I ain't got to stay. Right. And I you- can... and. And I do think that for men, and they've done studies on it. They said in over one third of marriages, one or both partners admit to cheating. Sure. Fourteen percent of women admit to cheating. Twenty-two percent of men say they did. Well, fourteen percent of women are fucking lying if they. Fourteen <laughs> percent. <laughs> who who we fucking? <laughs> Single uh, men. Like like the, the the idea. I think women have different justifications for what they do. Mm-hmm. Like I think women, women also say, don't get caught as me. much. Right. I think women wouldn't admit it. Like, like yeah. you they said. They just ain't going to sit up and tell you that. Yeah. Right. They'll be like, no, I never cheated. No, I women don't get caught just... like men do they either, do. though. Let's keep they it real. Do. Yeah. Not as much. I get caught. You, do. Yeah. Stephanie did. I don't know how you get caught. You don't even move. Shit, don't you get caught? <laughs> 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 Stephanie you got, how, did you, how did you get caught, Stephanie? From my phone. Like, um... 
Uh, I got caught a few times, <laughs> but one I, I, one I could think of a real memorable one is actually I got drunk and I blacked out drunk. Usually, like I would sleep on my phone in like my pillowcase. Like I would sleep like this in your, on my damn, phone. What? <laughs> so I got drunk one night, and I get drunk, and I do like I was saying earlier. Say, well, you I don't drink, drink no yeah. more because I do stupid shit. I still do this. I still do this. When I come home drunk, I take everything off. I start throwing everything. I throw my keys. I throw my phone. I just throw everything. I don't know why. I, <laughs> it's stupid. Yeah. It, it's it's. But whatever. I did that. I threw my phone. I threw everything, and I went to the bed. And I went to sleep, and he went through my phone while I was sleeping. Hey, what was in there? Just conversations. He like- found that one time. He found sorry. That one time he <laughs> found um he found an email. I was emailing with somebody. Mm. Mm. He went through like your you. email, and I don't, when, when I see women cheat, I, I I just don't like them. <laughs> no, I'm not a cheater <laughs> anymore though. Like I've been with men yeah. can do it, but women can't. Yeah. But G, you know yeah, I'm not a cheater yeah. anymore. G, so you've cheated even in the Bible. Have you cheated. ever cheated? Yeah, you've yeah, cheated. cheated. Now, why did you cheat? Because he was cheating. That's right. See? Reciprocation. Yeah, it ain't even original. You just copied That was the reason. <laughs> Reciprocation. Oh, you doing that? Well, then I'm going to do this. Right. Why not? Even, do you know every... Per- you go to church, right? You, 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 Yeah, you're a woman of color. That's what y'all think y'all got to do. So, uh... <laughs> what? It's true. <laughs> she just go to church. Online. I do watch church online. Right. 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 Yeah, it's, I, it's, it's church. It's I watch church at four in the morning. Yeah, right? Easy. I might get killed. So, do you know every man that you read about in that Bible had a lot of women? All of them. What about had a Jesus? a lot of women. Well, Jesus did, but that was it. But all the dudes he ran with did. Like Job, when he took his, with Job, the trials of Job, he took his wealth, his health, and his what? Women. Hmm. God never said, Ruth and Naomi, they, they, was, they belonged to one guy. Well, see. David. I, but do we follow the Bible word for word still to this day? Okay, but you can't pick and choose. I'm picking it too. You, you don't right pick and choose. Right. Right. No, no. But me personally, I'm a different type of woman because I believe that most men cheat and I believe that most men are going to cheat. Mm-hmm. I believe that. How does that, that make you different? <laughs> no, because some because some women some women believe that men don't cheat. Some women believe that we, they shouldn't cheat. I, believe I don't think men, they should cheat, but I expect it. Like, I'm not surprised if a man cheats. Cheat. I feel like there's men you know, who don't you, cheat too. I believe that. I think majority of men cheat. Yeah, you, the, the majority, majority of men do cheat. Dudes majority who don't. This is the, the funny Lord. thing that's hilarious to me. There's a small number the, the, of men who don't cheat. The the the, the, the very that shit wants. that you like in a dude is the very shit you want other women to like in a dude, right? But if he does something that hurts your feelings, women only want a certain type of dude. The dude, every woman in here, you're very attractive. You had some dude that was crazy about you and was faithful and would do everything, and he bored you to fucking death, and you didn't like him. I like just being bored. because. Now I you mean, do. I, I'm not gonna yeah, say I didn't everybody like him, but yeah. or that I got bored, but it didn't work out. Any any dude who probably don't mess around no more is having a good time with his boyfriend. I'm just telling you. Either way, he's cheating. Yeah, that's still cheating. Either <laughs> way, I'm being cheated on. Yeah. I'd rather be cheated on with a woman than the man. Yeah, he's the he's with his boyfriend. Yeah, he, he's not I'm about you or nothing else. It's so funny. You want dudes? You if if you describe the, the the dude that you describe in your head, the ones that are on these movies and these poems and this shit you were, dude dudes like that. Uh, would bore you, most women to fucking death unless they've had a lot of experiences and now and now are open to having some experiences that aren't quite what they want. Mm-hmm. I like we to, look for the bad boy. It's, it's not me. I like to go to work, to. come home, and lay up. Aww, yeah, but you just said you had a boyfriend great. and cheated like on you for a scene. long time. And then <laughs> that was no, well, that was back when I was a long time ago when I was young. That's right. So now life done kicked your ass. And you're like, fuck <laughs> this, I want to lay down. I, I probably wasn't shit either, though. <laughs> I mean, we were young. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't shit when I was younger. Mm-mm. Yeah, I, at all. Not like not by any means. Yeah. Now that I'm older, like you said, I'm like, man, I ain't trying to do all yeah, that. Yeah, it's like. I mean, I'm not even that old, but I still feel like I'm cool. I lived. I lived. <laughs> now, what if for I, me, oh. I don't like. I I do not like the the pain that you see in a woman's face when you mm-hmm. do something. That's, That's the right. shit right there. So now you just get better at it. So get better you know, at cheating. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah I gotta be careful. Mm-hmm. No, I would think I that guys like who cheat should be worried that their girl is cheating too. Sure. They, because all that time when you like, oh, I'm going to do this and covering your tracks, she's like, mm-hmm. all, right, all right, he's out of here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Bye, motherfucker. That's, 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 that Girl's is, trip. She's calling Tyrone. Get back, <laughs> get back Girl's trip with a side of dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For real. 
Yeah. And we're very good at cheating because, like, our friends are in on it. Mm. Yeah. Think about that. Guys cheat and they don't cover their tracks. Guys, y'all cheat and do shit off on your own, make up excuses and don't inform your friends that they're involved in the cheating. Here's what I've noticed about <laughs> you cheat as a like unit. <laughs> yeah, you do. And it's all, and it's, and it's, but it's always one wink leak you can get to. <laughs> right. Come in to see, you know what happened. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. I love Jesus exactly. and I shouldn't do it. Exactly. What so, that's that's, that's, that's the yeah. It's always one slick. It was the weak link. Yep. <laughs> and we know him. But it's always yeah that's one thing about me when I was cheating I wouldn't tell anybody that's what you were doing yeah Yeah, I wouldn't even tell my homegirls well except for Jess but Jess is like telling myself right or you'd be like I'm going out with Angela and you're not really that's exactly what I would do yeah like I would not you but somebody like that Exactly. You crack yeah, me, me up. You are, are you are, are you chill or this close to passing out? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just smoked. No, oh, yeah, not even. Right no, but I was saying earlier, I'm really tired, tired today. Like I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> well, it worked for you. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> tired. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I like it. I, I swear. Did I did. You, like, you, you like the vibe? Like, yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> what it is? It's, it's very Latina. Just yeah, whatever. <laughs> now let's talk about holiday season coming up and being in a new relationship. Right? Mm-hmm. When do you bring it up to somebody as a woman? What would you advise somebody if they asked you? I've been dating this guy for three months. Okay, this is. A real situation it's not me right. but um i need to know like is he just with me should i ask am i asking what's going on are we in a relationship should you ever bring that up well i, I tell you what what they lawyers say never ask a question you don't know the answer to <laughs> and when you're on the streets you never ask a question they didn't ask mm. so it depends a lot of people always pretend like they want to know something what, what your mama say if you go looking for something you're gonna find, you're gonna it. find so it so make sure you're ready and a lot of chicks don't want to look for shit around the holidays because they want a good holiday. They're like, fuck it, let's just do yeah, this. She wanted that Chanel bag right. all year. Right. 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 Just keep it moving. They always say that people break up the most around the holidays. Yeah. Too. The guys, they trying to save that money. They like, let me get yeah, rid of this. Really yeah. Yeah. Let me get rid of this bitch, the yeah. side bitch and the other bitch. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. don't want to buy a present. That sucks. No, not, no, not, no, not, not me now. It's not even He's just like, buying a present. No, 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 it's not, buying not. presents. It's spending time. Right. Like you got to choose who you going to. Now spend you could come right. up with something like, oh, my mom's living in Virginia. They could come up with some kind of lie, but you can't lie with a gift. When you my home girl did this guy for three years and never met his family, and every year he would say he was going to spend time with his family and never invite yeah, her. He didn't like her. What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't like his her. wife was there. That's what that's what I said. But she was with him every night. Yeah, like, his wife was there, maybe, oh, <laughs> or maybe his parents were oh, really embarrassing. Were his parents were <laughs> 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 my parents are embarrassing. My dad's embarrassing. I'm like, my no, parents? No, he's not. He's not funny. Is your dad embarrassing? No, he's Hell hilarious. Yeah, my dad's no, he's cool. He's mad cool. I like your dad. Nah, my dad says like mad inappropriate shit. He does I say inappropriate like shit. He's Chinese. He's Chinese. Is he? Yes. Ooh, so you tell Chinese us the- nigga? You Chinese? Chinese. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> And he's, God damn! He's so embarrassing. But so he's the Chinese guy. Yeah, and he got a black woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy, did that do? He ain't for. <laughs> Her mom was here earlier. Yeah, she was here earlier. I bet he never. Done. What are all these products on my fucking counter? <laughs> Why do you have a stove in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Who fries hair? He would say that. <laughs> He is crazy. <laughs> we spent Thanksgiving at one of my friend's houses, and he was like, this is just like soul food. Because <laughs> we be having, like, fried rice and stuff like that for Thanksgiving. Yeah, for sure. it's, it's not Do like- all your friends think your father know karate? Do they all think <laughs> yeah. that? He does. Does he really? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> that's, but, that's pretty do- Like You know, it's, most people come from one experience. Mm-hmm. So it's dope that you have culturally different experiences that you got that you kind of both are right you no t- it is it's cool i like the fact that i have like these different cultures yeah. right in me have you ever done like 23 and me or whatever that oh my test God, I'm where about you to find it. out it's yeah. on sale right now did you know yeah. that? is it, on, is sale? it on sale how much you did it okay so what? What, are you? what are you when i i it's nondescript they had to make me do it twice because they could not find out where i was from <laughs> Wait, can y'all tell me what it is? Because I never. It's like your DNA, your blood blood the test, like oh. ancestry dot com. You probably yeah, have a negative blood type. Oh, okay. I don't know, you like do a swab of spit or whatever, and then you send it in, and they tell you like your genetic makeup. For real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna do it. So you're not. <laughs> if it's forty nine dollars, I could not find out where I was from. <laughs> that means you. That means <laughs> what? Are you an alien? That explains a lot. He's not from here. I felt like that. 
This motherfucker ain't from nowhere. Yo, that's weird. <laughs> no, Paris found out that she was 30% uh, white Caucasian. Yeah. She was mad as hell. Yeah. <laughs> I would be she too. Was, she was so mad. If I found out I had a lot of white men, I'd be mad. I, know, I have a lot of... I, my mother's father is white, so I know they're going to tell yeah. me I got some white men. <laughs> you said yeah. definitely. But I, I, if, it's, if I got white, I want white I can use. <laughs> Fuck this boutique white. I need white I can cash in. <laughs> I don't want to just be a white dude that people don't recognize. Inside. Me, right? <laughs> I, I've been a nigga long enough. I want to break. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I want if I was if I had white in me, it better be white people respect. God damn. I bet a lot of white women have come on to you though. Not really. I can't believe that. I never knocked off. I never knocked off. They one. probably last year. You've never been with a white woman. Never. I don't, Why? I don't believe that. It's never. Why? I believe yes. him. I believe it. Why? You don't want to be with a white yeah. woman then. Well, it's not that I don't. Uh, <laughs> you never wanted well, here's one. The thing. Here's the thing. Becky was it a good. Never here. seen. To me, organic. Where I just see some bra, hey, you. Right, right, but it right. But never seen. It always seemed like some old. You seem very white woman accessible for some. Well, reason. that's. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> I'm available. No. I'm <laughs> no, but I tell you what. If, if something happens to my wife, I'm going. I'm gonna be a Spanish woman. Why? There we go. Because they get naked when they get drunk and. No, I tell you, if something happened to her, I'm gonna get me a, 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 a Dominican or Puerto Rican. Why? Why is that? Why no, not a black woman? I had. I've been with a black woman my whole it. life. I've done that shit. Puerto Rican pussy wife. <laughs> you know what? Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe an age. The thing for me, this is just, just the truth for me. For me, uh, when I see black women, not I don't. It's not some misguided sense of loyalty. I've just never seen anything that moved me like they do. Okay. They just, they That's just, wonderful. The way hey, they talk, the way, the way they can shut up more, but the way they, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, part they of the way they move, the way you know? they move, the way they hold shit, the way they, they there's to me nobody. That I've it, it, you ever uh, had like a uh, food that hurt your stomach after you ate it? Cheese, mm-hmm. but you know it's gonna hurt your stomach, but it's so and good. But it's yeah. delicious. That's like women, it happens like, to it, me I know all it's gonna the hurt. time. I'm gonna eat this ice cream because I'm going right, home. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm gonna be in the bathroom. I'm going yeah, home. that's the thing. I'm gonna be home. I can only eat this on my way home. <laughs> so a white woman's never sucked your dick or anything. Wow. Uh, what does that count? <laughs> yeah, that's count. If you pay them, does that is that the same? Yes, thing? it counts. Yeah, wait, no, you pay them? Bad. Yeah. Well, I don't uh, see you having to pay. Why do you no, have to? I think he was telling a joke. No. I don't know if. Oh, you know. I thought no, you were serious. I wasn't serious. kidding, but oh, okay. um, oh, wow. it seemed it looked like he was no, pretty serious. No, I was. I was. I wasn't kidding, but no, I. I it's, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's just not. I don't. It's not a misguided sense of loyalty. It's just they don't. Uh, women of color. I like black and Latin women. I think they're. But those are the best women. The stunning. black women and the Latin women, they're the best. Yeah. I want to know if you think it's cheating if you pay them. Is that cheating? No. Of course, course it's cheating. cheating. It's a business transaction. Oh, business really? Transaction. Yeah, for sure. So okay. it's not cheating if a woman pays a gigolo either. We had a gigolo on here we the other day from the Showtime Well, show. she better use my money. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> she use her own money. I don't use... Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't use your money. You, you, you had use. to pay... There are some men that, like you said, oh, I wouldn't think you had to pay. Men don't have to pay. They pay out of convenience. They pay you to right. come handle your business right. and shut the fuck up. Oh, they pay you to shut up, okay, and but, leave. But I don't, I don't. Pay, I, I'm, a pay, I'm paying you to leave. I'm paying you yeah. to not ask me no questions. But yeah. so, okay, so you so far, I'm paying you to cut the chase. Talk. No, but I'm paying you to cut the chase. <laughs> no. I don't want to bullshit around. That happened to Tiger. I don't yeah. want to yeah. run yeah. around you, the Mulberry Bush, I, bitch. You know right. what I want? I got this check for right. you. But look, like we were saying, like we were saying, you can still pay her and she can still tell, like paying her ain't gonna change nothing. If she's smart, she can keep her mouth shut. At least, at least, at least, you have something to throw back. At least you like. Hey, hey, you know what this you ain't if you do that you ruin your business right, right. the business get transaction cuts review. the I know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the she business told, transaction told, cuts the lot. confusion of the what are we would you, you go know? and write you a review what? stop the business <laughs> transaction cuts the confusion of the what are we question right like, but you know what this is yeah. I think when I think a lot of times guys will offer girls money because it just gets all the middle stuff out yeah, the way yeah that's I just you said, know what I mean she wants not gonna beat around the bush she wants sex it just happens you know what I mean like if you dig a woman like the, the 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 for me, just me. I can't speak for nobody. If you dig a woman, you dig doing shit for her. You dig it. I agree with right, that. You right. dig it. I don't I agree like. With I don't. That. I don't. If if I want you to, it's a whole different. But that's a different a different kind of thing, you know. That's you, you like somebody. Yeah. You don't really like somebody. You want to pay for them. You just would like. You would like to have sex with them. That's why you. Pay but them. but now I'm so old. If like if I can't, I I can't. You have to have a way about you. Mm-hmm. And if if you have a way about you, I want you to be all right. Mm-hmm, like right. I don't want, like I was in the I was in a store yesterday, and uh, 
I think I told you the story. I was in the store and they said, hey, you stupid bitch. Like he said that to her. Like, hey, partner, why would you even want to be with somebody you think that little love? Right, right. What, and why, what is the thing about that? That don't make you a man. That, mm-hmm. That's a man. Why, why, why would you want to dehumanize somebody? And that's how you, why would you want to even want to be around? Like life is so short. Why would you even want to be any, around anybody that doesn't do it for you? You said that in the store. I said it to him at parties. Yes, you like a Superman. I'm like, hey man, <laughs> no, but, but you know what it is. You know what it is. I, this is my honest truth. Super I think deep. that a man, <laughs> a man is never supposed to. I think that women, women of color, all women, but a man has a certain level of responsibility. Mm-hmm. Like you shouldn't just let no woman get her ass whipped. No, absolutely. Or you not. shouldn't just let some shit slide. Right. And the only, if you're a man, and the only, you only reason you exist on the face of the earth is to protect and provide for the people you love. That's all you exist for. So if you, uh, and that extends to everybody that's in your in your circle, like that when that gorilla, uh, uh, that baby fell in with that gorilla mm-hmm. in Cincinnati. Right. And they shot exactly. the gorilla. Mm-hmm. He only exists to provide and protect for his family. That's all he does. Mm-hmm. That's what he, he never once tried to hurt the baby. The females ran on the hill and he was like, who baby is this? Right. <laughs> but I think men and I think women act like they act now because you said something earlier. You said that it's because they can work and they could they, they, get, they have their own money. It used to be a time a woman knew there was a dude who had her back mm-hmm. and she didn't want to act a certain way. Right. Mm-hmm. Whether he had another family or not wasn't an issue. It was that you knew he was going to do what he had to do to take care of his family mm-hmm. and he wasn't going to let nobody do anything to her. That she, I think women feel unprotected. And that's why they act like that. You know what? Part of the problem, though, mm. with men cheating is that sometimes the other woman feels, like, really entitled and disrespectful. Mm. That's right. The, yeah. And that's a problem that men, like, they cheat, and then the other woman is, ha-ha, I got your man. He exactly. don't want you. Oh How does my, my pussy God. taste? Exactly. They don't they stay in any place. That inside, shit, and just, then they start sending Have sending you been on my emails? <laughs> I don't like this. This is not fun. But I'm saying that's the disrespect because it's not even that you just cheated and you're taking care of home, but you're not taking care of home and somebody else could come talk shit about hey, you. Hey, look here. Look here. It was three. You were a young dude, so you don't know. I'm sorry. Your wife hit me right before yeah. this. And yeah, right. <laughs> when I grew up, it was three rules. It was that you had to be home. You had to take care of your family. Mm-hmm. You had to be home for the street lights came up. Mm-hmm. Street the sun came up, mm-hmm. and you couldn't let no bullshit come to your house. Thank God for daylight savings. Yeah, that, right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Poppy got another hour. <laughs> but the idea was, I knew dudes and a lot of dudes who who grew who raised two families, and they was both on the other side of town, mm-hmm. and they met at the funeral. But everybody understood. They always meet at the funeral. They they are like, who's that over there looking like daddy? But people, <laughs> both both parties got that this dude take care of us, mm-hmm. right? And I don't want to see. It's it's the choices you make. Like I think that women judge men on the choices they make. You fuck this bitch, right. like why her? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I respect for somebody based that. on who you who cheated. They, you right. cheated on me yeah. with this right. person? Right. Oh, oh, come on. Right. Yeah. And nobody not, it say nobody's no, good not right. even, no, but not even oh, whether that. the guy cheated on me with her or not. If it's somebody in the past before me, it's like, oh, you were her. That's so disgusting. Yeah. Like, I can't mm. even believe I touched you. Gigi. Uh, Gigi got something to anyway, say. Anyway, going back to what you were saying about right. having different families and stuff, y'all know that I have a sister that's 16 days younger than me. And uh, my mother and her mother, neither one of our mothers is my, is my, my father's wife. Damn. He ain't playing. Yeah. He ain't bullshitting. Like, you know, but how does so, that affect you? Because then you also have to think, how does that affect the families and the kids? And well, all of that? growing up, <laughs> the mothers, you know, were against each other. Mm-hmm. As we grew up, and my father kept us all, all the children close. The mothers had no choice but to accept each other. I've and my mother, happen. I've seen that. My mother and my favorite stepmother became really close over the years. Unfortunately, the third mother never really joined in, and you know. They just never, you know, got but your along father like that. kept. But my father kept all of like all me kids, and my yeah. brothers and sisters. We are all very, very close. Right. That's, I very, think very that's close. Because your father wasn't ashamed. No, he wasn't. And he he kept us family oriented. He kept us with right. with his family a lot growing up. And um, my father has a type. We all look. You can't tell whose mother is who because all of us look exactly alike because all of our mothers look like sisters. Mm-hmm. That's Damn. crazy. Mm-hmm. I, you, you know, I I I, I respect. Well, there's. There used to be a thing called honor among thieves. We doing dirt, but at mm-hmm. least we get it. Mm-hmm. But I remember I got jammed up, right? Mm-hmm. So I had knocked this chick up, and she had the baby, and the baby got killed mm-hmm. by her by her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Oh my, oh my and, god! And, it, and, and so it was a horrible, 
horrible experience. So wow. I, I had this baby I'm paying for. I'm I'm a boy. I'm scared. I'm married. I'm just starting out my career. And I um, I get a call from my boy, and he said, your, your, your son is in the hospital. Uh, and I go, and they were Cape Verde. She was from Cape Verde. So I go to the hospital, and this boy uh, was laying in the bed, and apparently her boyfriend had shaken him and, and, and hurt his oh and damaged his Oh, my God. So what I always thought about was that I knew that one day I would be man enough to tell my woman what had happened, and it, it would either because I think you you shouldn't leave children out there by themselves. But I was weak and dumb, and small. So he passes. I'm so fucked up. Finally, one day I tell my wife. You know what she said to me? I wish you'd have told me, and we could have went through this together. Aww. And that's when. And so months, years later, I'm at the airport. That was when you could. Remember, you used to be able to go to the airport with your. Uh, you didn't have to go. You didn't have to have a ticket to go through. Walk the thing. through, yeah. To see and you can meet your off. family, or whatever. Yeah. So right, one day, the girl that I that I had the baby with is there. My wife gets uh, meets me at the plane. I see, I see her see us, and I know she's thinking she got me in the trick bag. And I say, "Baby, this is the girl I had the baby by." Oh wow! And my wife said, "I'm so sorry for your loss." Mm-hmm. And I and I felt so small. Mm-hmm. Because I was I was a coward two ways, mm-hmm. and it starts to change the way you see stuff. I think when you're very young, and you like I never thought that I never felt bad about my inclinations to I have felt bad about the damages is done to the people in my life, and I don't want to be the kind of guy that at the end of your life you just broken a bunch of people, mm-hmm. children and women and family. And so I think a lot of guys feel like that. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that I don't do what I do, but it's, it, it it means that I take measure of what I do. And it doesn't, like, I feel bad for you that you you were telling me about your your father and how I kept, I, you would have been, I, I, he would have been that to me. Mm-hmm. I, I think I would have been that kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it makes me sad for you that something like that happens to you, but it, make you happy, it makes me happy for you that he, you had how a man that guided it. you through Right, right. That he wasn't a coward, and and I, no matter what I do with the rest of my life, I'll always know that moments would have counted. I was a coward. The craziest thing about all of that is that, of course, we all were raised together, but I didn't find out that I always thought that I was a year older than my sister. I didn't find out that we were sixteen days apart until maybe like three or four years ago. <laughs> That's crazy. So yes. you never really knew like yeah. her. No, so Age that part, you know like I knew that we were all stair steps. Mm-hmm. Like I knew that, you know, he went back and forth, back and forth. But you know the stairs were that because close. Because there's a yeah. brother, there's a brother and another sister that we're all like a year, a year, a year, a year. You know, so I knew he was going back and forth. But when I found out that my sister was 16, my my head was blown. Like I couldn't believe that. So y'all, so y'all ain't stair steps, so y'all parents, escalator steps. Right? <laughs> we on the elevator. <laughs> elevator. Like, that, means, that means our mothers were pregnant at the same time, sure. the same amount of months, same amount of weeks, going through the same thing at the, the same airport. time. And he's going back and forth between them, but still got a wife at home. Yeah. That's and so then she curious. turned around and had a baby. After we were born, I have a brother that's younger than us that is by the Your wife. problem is you know math. That's your fucking yeah. problem. <laughs> you need to stop reading shit. I do respect that he like, Raised you guys together and that y'all yeah. know. At least no matter care of all y'all, because he did take care of all of us. That yeah. too. So no, he, he, he took care of yeah. all of us. We were, I went to private school and everything, but my, uh, the mother, even though the mothers fought each other so much, he didn't care. He snatched us up and had us, had us with his family. And That's we were I able to that. be together no matter what our mothers, you know, were going through amongst themselves, playing on each other's phones and fighting and all of that. Right. He made sure that he grabbed us up and, t- and picked us up and, and took us. That's we spent holidays shit. together mm-hmm. and everything. And that's at least the moms who let him. Come take not them let them. Yeah. I mean, not some, but some mothers will try to let me yes, they will. Here, here's the thing. This is the, 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 the women say funny things. What? When you, <laughs> even when they're giving advice, you gotta let a man be a man. How the fuck you let a man oh. be a man? <laughs> I am. You know, I I think that one of the thing that one of the reasons I was interested in talking to you because I watch I, I watch what you do, and the thing about a woman is you. You pick your shots and you do it as good as I've seen anybody in a medium do it in a long time. Because you, uh, between two pretty strong personalities. Mm-hmm. But there isn't a week that goes by that I don't remember something you said. Right. And I, I'm not inclined to listen to women. I'm just not. <laughs> like, I don't watch their movies. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not being disrespectful. I just, uh, you have to be very interesting in, uh, in a le- on a level I understand. Right. Or am interested in. For, but I always hear something you say. And it's because you come across as human. And you, you know how bright you got to be to be as bright as the day. 
That's that's a pretty amazing thing. And so that's what interested to me. In me. And then I got that little uh, <laughs> high Latin chick over here. This shit and bourbon. This shit is nice. And a side baby. Got and a side it. baby. And a side baby. Side eye baby. <laughs> I wish I'd have got to know my side baby. <laughs> now, what do you think about somebody like Cardi B? Since we're talking about women, and you know, you know, she recently said that she feels like she wants to be more PG thirteen than rated R because she sees a lot of girls dressed up as her for Halloween and are looking up to her. Do you think that Cardi B is a It's good not example? my thing, but I can't judge it. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, everybody, all I hear is bloody shoes. And all, mm-hmm. I mean, I think people, uh, I think you have to give somebody credit for managing to be heard through all this clutter. Mm-hmm. And I think it's, it's kind of like wanting to be married after you already had some kids. You know what I mean? You've already become, you know, a star and then you want a level of responsibility. And that's not bad either. Right. Um, I think that most people who are who accidentally make something happen, it's it's better to feel a sense of responsibility than to not. Because some right. people would say don't change who you are. Just continue to be unfiltered and uncensored. But, you know, she probably didn't know that she was going to end up being. Yeah, it's a surprise. Mm-hmm. And I think that it's human for somebody to realize that people are listening to them and to feel a sense of responsibility. And to me, that resonates more to me than fucking, you know, who I want, I know right. where I'm at, you know who I be. I, I'll never, but I relate to her as an artist. Some of the greatest things that ever happened were accidents. Mm-hmm. Fucking champagne, penicillin, America, all accidents. So and they, and they turned out pretty good. So Some I think people she, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. so people, I, I think it's dope that she all of a sudden is is looking at people around her and li- seeing kids dressing like her and seeing something, and not wanting to just uh, uh, take the money and run. Right now, let me ask you this: being that you have your daughter works with you, right? Yes. Um, what do you tell her about being in a relationship? Like, should she expect that a man teach? And would you say, okay, give him another chance, or would you be angry? My my daughter says something to me. That kind of hurt me and made me. Both my dads have one works for me and one just takes money from me. But <laughs> that's both working. That I'm said, talking about. <laughs> I want a man who loves me like I know you know, love my mother, but to not be you. Because that's a I'm, I'm, the curse. I'm 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 a selfish dude. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I feel entitled to do shit, and it's is you can see it in your your do- One time. My daughter said on the radio, it's like if you found out that Superman wasn't what he said he was. Mm. Where does this sense of entitlement come from? I, I, I think the way you grow up, mm-hmm. it wasn't ever success. Mm. It was like I always thought that I had you just like all of you. I had to fight to be like I was talking to you. You had to fight to be heard. You had to fight to count. You had to like in a family in a situation. I fight every day to be heard. On right. This room. And so, so to, to, when you when you when you live your life fighting, what does the victor get? The spoils, right? If you win the war, you get the shit that they you was fighting for. So I, you that that gives you a sense of entitlement. I never felt guilty about what I did, and I think that that's a, an abusive stance to take. Like I'm aware of what I do, mm-hmm. and 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 have been. I just don't necessarily haven't always taken the measure. Of it. Have you ever done therapy? No, <laughs> I drink. What the fuck you tell me. <laughs> therapy and what's your sign? <laughs> uh, Pisces. Oh, Pisces. I knew it. I yeah. swear to God, yeah. <laughs> you talk just like my ex boyfriend, and he's a Pisces, and a lot of y'all view. Are very, very, very like what? similar. Like fishy. You, <laughs> fishy. Put on punch. No, like what you said about it's not the fact that what you're doing, your actions and cheating, that bothers him. He it, that don't bother him. It's the hurt that he's yeah. caused. Like, and he's he said that to me before. Like, you know, like me seeing like what I did to you and made me see like, damn, I'm really fucked yeah. up for doing that yeah. to you. But he don't think what he did was fucked up I don't, ever. Yeah, you ever see? feel like you could be in Same love, person. like ever fall in love with somebody else? I don't. I don't think that you can. I don't think that love is a uh, love is not a limited uh, option. I mean, you have amazing capacity for love. I think that it would be difficult for me to feel the way I uh, do about. I, I was very lucky in a couple a couple of ways. She's known me since I was eighteen years mm-hmm. old, so she she knows the totality of me. So anybody meeting me now. Is in midstream. Right. Mm. 
it's easy to dig me now. Right. But when I was scared or when I was weak or when I was. I mean, you had a regular nine to five. Nine, nine to five. Mm-hmm. But, but so, so every relationship I have had, it, whether business or, or personal or sexual is about what is this, what's this all about? Mm-hmm. And you always have that in the back of your head, like, okay, you know who I am. I am you so know. glad that people give me some. I'd be like, fuck it, I don't care how it happens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really, I don't really, I don't, like, some dudes be like, yeah. <laughs> no woman is with a man. Like, it's so funny because a lot of women aren't with men they want to be with. They with the dude they settle for. It's about settling, settling down. Yeah, yeah it's like, like you know down. Yeah. I really want to be settle with Settle down now. That's right. So I don't, I don't feel bad. I'm like, fuck it, my old lady could have did better. She got me. She's like, I could have been with. Well, you with me. So fuck <laughs> I don't care being a cop. Damn, does she prize. name names for real? Yeah. I could have been with. Yeah, she she nah, will. Nah, you ain't going to do that. <laughs> Search this, you ain't going to do that. <laughs> Watch your conduct. We, we hang on. Now. Yeah, I, I just think, I think that you can't. The, the best thing you can ever do for another human being is to not necessarily tell them what you do, but to tell them who you are. Mm. And you can tell them in all kinds of ways. By being consistently who you are, by, by, by standing to a set of standards you believe in. Like I've been such a, you, it's so funny to me because I've been, I have done such horrible things as a young man and such fearful and weak things as a young man. It's why I, I think I see the world the way I do now. I, I, I just think that you, I, I don't want to live my life being afraid to lose something after all I've been through. I believe that I'm supposed to say what I believe mm-hmm. and, and, and let the chips fall where they may. Wow. I mean, the ch- so do you lie? Like, if you get caught doing By something? By the police. Yeah, to the police. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no. But I mean, like, if it's like, oh, was you with this bitch? No. I, I will say this. I will uh, make sure that you want to hear what I have to say before I say it. Oh wow! So basically, like you, you really want to know this shit? Because I'll tell you. You're right now. Man. That's, that's, it's gonna hurt your feelings. You, you know you it's can't Christmas. The truth. <laughs> I just you I, know I, it's I, Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. You got to give people. You know you go on a roller coaster, <laughs> and they always go, "Here's your last chance to get off the yeah. road." That's I, I try to do that. Oh shit! Support for today's episode of Lip Service comes from Tripping.com. Did you know the average family visits five websites before booking a vacation rental? Oh my god! I know it's a lot of time, but you can spend less time planning your next trip and more time relaxing when you use. You know, we be traveling all over the place. Mm-hmm. And Trippin.com is the world's number one site for vacation rentals. So if you're looking for a cabin to get away for New Year's Eve, which we are, yes, planning your next beach vacation in Hawaii, I wish, or that vacation <laughs> in Europe where you live like a local, Trippin.com helps you find the perfect place to stay. Vacation rentals offer flexibility, perks, and amenities that hotels don't, like multiple bedrooms, backyards, hot tubs, free Wi-Fi, wow. and even fully stacked kitchens because we greedy. <laughs> So you can have a quick bite on the go or plan to cook your own meals. Now, it's great for families and large groups. With Tripping.com, one search lets you filter, compare, and sort over 10 million available properties on trusted sites like BRBO, TripAdvisor, Booking.com, and more. Did you say 10 million? Yes. Wow. Can you count to 10 million right now? I don't think so. Don't wonder if you're getting the best deal. You'll save an average of 18% per night by booking your vacation with Tripping.com. Perfect. So don't forget, if you want to save time and money while booking the perfect vacation rental for your next trip, head to Tripping.com slash Angela. That's T-R-I-P-P-I-N-G dot com slash Angela. All right, now I want to switch gears a little bit. I was telling the girls, I watched this show, right? Mm-hmm. My 600 pound life. Have you mm-hmm. ever seen that show? No. With the people that are like, yeah, I have. 600 yeah. mm-hmm. pounds and over. Yeah. And I want to ask you, have you ever given up on trying to help somebody that needs help? I was watching the show, right? The woman is 661 pounds. Her sister was being so mean to her and I felt kind of bad for her because she was like, Oh, I need to go to the, this doctor in Houston and I need you to drive me. I really want to get better. I found this doctor and she's like, no. And then she's like, I'll go with you, but I'm not driving. It's too far. We got to get on the plane. And you know how hard it is for somebody 660 pounds. Two tickets, three tickets. Yeah. She had to buy the whole row. Yeah. Three seats. Yeah. And not not even just that, but like it was the hard for her space. to even get outside the house, get in the car, get to the airport, get on the plane. She was embarrassed. It was humiliating. Then when she got to the hotel, she was um she went to the bathroom and there was blood all in her urine. So something must have happened. Like you know, while she was traveling, they had to take her to the hospital. Well, anyway, I'm obsessed with the show. But clearly, I kind 
kind of felt like her sister was being really rude and nasty to her. Like, I'm going to take you there and then I'm going to leave you. I'm not saying I don't heard you say this before. And I was wondering because, you know, she could die. Yeah. If her family, if she doesn't have somebody help her or whatever, have you ever had to give up on somebody because you just felt like they're just not going to? I think them? I've I've given up. Like I have a cousin who's my um, he's he is the most charming crackhead I've ever. Wow. But he's <laughs> he's Gator. He's, I, I mean, he really is. <laughs> and I I I want to believe. So I can say that I've said to him. There are things I won't do for you, but I'll never let you just die. Like, I'm not going to, I just, I think that it would be the height of hypocrisy for me to give up on somebody when people didn't give up on me. Right. But I can't let you just keep making me look weak. Right. Like, he would just do things. Like, he would take my daughter's, you know, uh, uh, PS2 and sell it. Mm-hmm. It's just, just all kind of shit that made me look so fucking dumb. So I, <laughs> I said, I, I, you know, like I'll sneak again, like I, but I don't want to <laughs> give up on him to the extent that he don't believe anybody's in the corner, in this corner. So I can say there are things I won't be available for, but I'll never just say. If he's like, I want to go get help, I found a doctor. You're there. If he can fool me enough to believe how he believes it, like there's some people who harden their hearts so much they go, you lied to me so many times, and now you're gonna pay for this. I don't believe that. Mm-hmm. As a human being, your right is to take chances with people you love. And if you, your, your responsibility is to take, what a coward you are. And I, I, like I said, I spent enough of my t- life being weak and small that I don't want to do that again. So I, I'd rather err on the side of doing something that may, may that may be, uh, make me look foolish than then not I being there for a human being. Right. I like that point. You just, uh, you started to make and then you kind of cut yourself off. But when you was like, what a coward you are for like not what giving a person another chance. Is that basically what you was going to say? Yeah. Like, yeah, giving them another yeah. chance because mm-hmm. they've done something before or whatever the case. When, is. when you when you have done things in your life that <clears throat> you feel cowardly about, you spend every other moment trying to make sure that you don't feel that way again. Right. That's a, that's an unrelenting thing. Mm-hmm. And we all have done cowardly things. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. let's keep it real. Everybody, Everybody in here. here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but most people don't admit it. I'm one of those people who don't admit it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done much. anything cowardly in my life. <laughs> now, none of us in here have ever been married. We haven't, right? We no, haven't been engaged. Married. You were engaged. Times. Okay. And how I was you in a remember? relationship how for seven and a half it? years. Right? I don't know how I remember <laughs> either. I agree. <laughs> but how, so I always think that when people get married, they stop having sex after a while and they go for long no. periods. I don't know why I think that. Maybe because I know Wait, I was in a relationship. Sex, I, was, not no I was in a living relationship for seven and a half years and even through all our problems, the only time we didn't have sex was that, you know, 35 days after I gave birth to my son. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, we were, we would be mad at each other and I'd 34? be like, like, we wouldn't Clearly be talking... What, yeah, we waited 35 days. What's the point of having a letting woman if you can't have sex right after the baby? She just had a baby. Right. <laughs> what did you tell her? Girl, the stitches will no, be all right. I you better mean, come in. Like, I was really young and we were like rabbits. Like, we wanted to have mad sex. Like, I went into labor from having sex. Like, we were having sex That's a lot. So dope. Yes, and <laughs> even though, like I was saying, like, was trying to come we, out. Like, come the on, and a half push there's something in. in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's closed the door. He <laughs> come in. What's that? Not on your head, son. Shut up. I'm serious. We went into that like that morning. I can tell you when um when I went into labor that morning, um I you know they say you start nesting. So I woke up and I started like washing dishes at like it was four in the morning. I couldn't sleep and he woke up at like five thirty for work and I was like, all right, let's have sex before you go to work. <sighs> and we had sex and that's when I, I was like okay I got a contraction and he was like alright I'm gonna call them I'm not gonna go in that's and he it. drove better me to not. the hospital that's better than a Hallmark car <laughs> no I swear and, but anyway through the seven and a half years like we would have nasty arguments nasty fights I didn't say sex we wouldn't um, we would we would we wouldn't even be talking but we would still 
like manage to have sex like five times in the week, every single right. week. That's why I want me to laugh. Like we wouldn't That's why I want have, that. like like we literally would not be talking. We'll be going about our business. I'll do my day. He'll do his day. We'll, we'll meet each other in the house, and I'll be like, "All right, you ready?" And we'll just go out. Did you I'll turn around. Sex? We'll have sex. You yeah, we we'll talk during sex. Around. Yeah. I'll turn oh. <laughs> you are the best. <laughs> <laughs> you you may be the best human being on the face of the oh, earth. I'm serious. And then, and no, then, I'm serious too. No, right and then it. and then we'll finish, and I was like, "All right, get me the rag, and we'll go right get back me to the not rag. talking." The rag. And that's the last words we'll say to each other. Yeah. Get you me tell the each rag. other you love each other during sex and everything still. Sometimes, but it would be like argument sex. Fuck you, bitch. Yes. It'll be like yeah, uh, you know. It'll be like things but like that. Stephanie likes getting, um, you know. Be- I like being a man yeah. handle. I like that. Yeah. Every every. Like, every. That's you not know, true. That's Puerto every Rican. woman likes to get choked a little bit. I, don't I know think a lot of like women, that. I think every yeah. woman does. Not every, but a, a few. little bit. It depends yeah. how. Oh, oh, that's right. enough, Cecil. Right. You can't yeah. breathe. I yeah. think that's too far. You said a smack yeah. in the face. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. really yeah. want to get smacked yeah. in the face. I like a smack. Right? No, I don't play that. Smack in the face. I said hair pull, smack in the face. I like it. I don't like all of that. A hair pull is fine. I like a hair pull. It's fine, but not a smack in the face. The thing about that shit is you can't ask. You got to just, just do, do it. it. And sometimes it goes too far. Too That's far. how you know. <laughs> and smacking the face is appropriate when it's that right time. Like this, it's only a right time when you can get away with smacking yeah. somebody. Else. I think that might just ruin my whole mood. Nah. Yeah, I was not nah. nothing with somebody else. He just hit me. He, he, he was choking a little too and hard. And it and kissed what? It, you know, he was like, I'm telling you. You serious? I was, I was dealing with somebody and he like choked me a little too hard. I was like, nah, this motherfucker might kill me one day. <laughs> like I really thought that. I was he like, I got to Oh, yeah, I was like, I gotta stop <laughs> fucking with him because I'm about to die. Like, I because I had never even been choked before. Right. So he did. Like, but you liked it at first. The first time it was cool, but the second time, I guess he was like, let me put a little more pressure. Right, she, right. Liked it. she liked it. Right. Like, let me go I'm a little turning harder. blue and shit. Like, no. Nah. You were turning blue? No, nah, mm-hmm. I literally. No, nah, I'm not gonna Smart lie. Back. I couldn't breathe. Like, I was like, nah. He's. Yeah. Like, oh, that's not. Because he like started to come. You know, he was yeah. coming. So he uh, got excited. He got strong. But he, he, he got strong. You. He like, you like, nigga, come <laughs> fast. <laughs> right. Otherwise. Somebody going to hospital. I'm telling you, he would have been in jail for what a way to die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, and he wasn't even he wasn't even trying to murder you. He wasn't. He just was coming. He, he was trying I, to kill the pussy. He probably would have got off for that. No, not what, no. Was he? Was he? No, was he, he black? Talk about was a crime of action. He would have got off for that. Was he black? Yeah, he was black. Nah, he wasn't gonna get off. <laughs> a nigga can kill somebody with an alibi. He still ain't getting off. <laughs> they had a dude in New Jersey to kill a, a shot a dude that was breaking into his house to kill his son. Some mob mentality type shit. He didn't get off. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like because people do get off of the rough sex thing. Gucci man yeah. got off. Then he should. They, they came running in the crib for him. He killed somebody. What, he what's got the off. safe word? Stop. <laughs> I was. I was. I, I can't tell you this cat's name. <laughs> this, I can't tell you. This cat is a. He's a famous comic, so I can't tell you his name. So we playing this gig one time, right? <laughs> And, is he a uh, king of comedy? I, I'm not gonna, no, he wasn't. <laughs> is he on your show, your gig, current show? And uh, we in uh, the Bay Area, right? <laughs> and so I get this knock on my door, and uh, this cat comes. He said, "Man, come to my room." Oh no! How? And I go, I go, I go. What's up? He goes, "Something's wrong." <gasps> so he had, he had this chick. Do do. She's tied up to the bed and she's naked and she's unconscious. Oh my god! And uh, he said, "I said, man, what happened?" He said he had this cat of nine tails, was his that whip, and he was she. They had always whipped like he, they, he whipped her, and um, all of a sudden, uh, she told him it was hurting and he couldn't stop. I said, "He said I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop." Why? He whipped her unconscious. He whipped her unconscious. <laughs> what? So then. I said, hey man, I'm not gonna touch, I'm not <laughs> in this shit, I'm not bitch. touching nobody. And <laughs> she woke up, with- she woke up, she, and she said, hey, hey, hey DL. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some water? And I went, oh, nigga, she all right. You oh, know, thank God. That was the funniest shit. What are you ever. supposed to do? Like, oh, man, I'm not in it. <laughs> he was like, here, hold this whip. I'm not in, in case it. In case the shit didn't work, help I'm me hide the body. Hold this whip. If she wouldn't have woke up and I went right to the front desk, that nigga killed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I killed he killed it. He said he did that shit. No, but that's it. Let's just say she didn't wake up. Then what do you do? I'd have told. No, you wouldn't. I swear to God, I'd have told. You can't be killing motherfuckers. I'm not. 
that ain't, I'm not doing that. Y'all wouldn't tell on me, would you? <laughs> no, nah, I would help you hide the body. Yeah, yeah, see, they would help me. Shit. Cut a friend of you. I love my kids. Nah, you bugging out. I'm leaving. I'm not telling, but I'm not helping If my kids did some dirt, like, I love them. But if they did something that it spread out harm to humanity on some just old evil humbug <laughs> shit, nah. But that no, was an act of you, child. You would help. You no, didn't mean to kill her. Look at his face. I mean, I'm she's not dead. But I might have my, my daughters, but you my son, I tell on him. <laughs> <laughs> if my nigga, son, you know if my oh, son murders somebody, I'm gonna send him to jail. How could you do that? I yeah. raised you better than that. What are you doing murdering people? Yeah. You you would, now you gotta go to jail. You have to kill somebody. No, 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 no. But what kind of kill? Like if he if he kills somebody, I mean, if it was if it was a justifiable kill, I would help. But if he's being a, she said I help. Like I don't like. That nigga. <laughs> but if he was being an animal about things, you know, like I'm gonna call the police on him. Like Man. you gotta go, you do like the crime, accident. you do the time. You wouldn't tell on him. I'm sorry. You, you can't. You can't. That was an accident. But an accident. I, I'll I just wouldn't say this. Tell. I've watched. I'm telling you. <laughs> I when I was when I when I was a kid, I grew up on Hunter Fifth and Avalon. It's a school, Avalon Garden. So I'm a little kid, right? Okay. Not a kid, but ten, twelve, maybe twelve, fourteen. These kids, they go, we got this chick. We running a train on her, right? Mm -mm. And I go, oh, wow. I've always heard about this. (laughs) Were you a virgin? I was, no. Okay. Um, And so... I hope this wasn't 10. No, no, I, go, I, was, I was 12. He said 12. Oh, God, okay, just make That's it still show. young. <laughs> yeah, it is. So I go and I see this girl and they are doing shit to her. And I'm like, I don't think she's, this is not... She's not with it. She's not with it. And I said, this ain't, she's not... And I remember, uh, so I say, uh, I don't, and these dudes are older than me. And I like love them and had always been impressed by them. But at that moment, I thought that they were, like it was the first, like it's one of the first times I saw men who I loved and respected seem small to me. Like they were, I was like, she's a girl and you, and so I remember getting her clothes and I said, she's not with it. And I, she, they got, and they're older than me. Right. And I'm not even scared because I'm like, even, even if something go left, I you did what you this, knew. You I was supposed right to right. That was your instinct. Mm-hmm. So we put on her clothes and she smelled like pennies and it was she smelled like this real weird smell that I would later on know that smells like blood, right. like yeah. like cause it smell like copper. Mm-hmm. So I get her clothes, we walk, and they hit me in the head and pushing me. And calling me a buster, oh, and I man. was weak, and I I never so I walk her to her neighborhood, and it was like five or maybe eight blocks away. When we get to close her neighbor, she screams and runs toward her brother, and it looked like you outside. did it. And this motherfucker picks up a butcher knife, and she is so hysterical she can't tell him. So he's chasing me around the car, and so he's thinking he, it's you, and he right. catches me, and he goes. Uh, he said, you, she said, it wasn't him, it wasn't him. And he said, I know this nigga know who did it. And I said, I, I, I can't tell you who did it. He said, if, if you don't tell me who did it, I'm gonna cut you. I said, but they'll kill me. He said, I swear to God, you got three, se- I'm gonna count to three and you're gonna tell me who, ca-. and I closed my eyes and waited for him to cut me. And so he didn't. And so while I'm walking away, he hit it, it like both the motherfuckers both, the dudes in my neighborhood was hitting me and he was hitting me Damn. so I'm getting my ass whipped for, and I ain't done shit wrong so year, months weeks later at this joint called Smitty's Liquor Store on 135th and Avalon I see this dude and he says thank you but I I, I always knew, like to me even though I, I I wanted to be like I didn't think that it was right to do shit to people mm-hmm. that you knew you could and even though I did like the thing with my son, or I've done things that made me feel weak, I always thought that I always knew I want, the greatest thing I've ever done to me is that at now I know I'm a human being. Right. Like I don't think is so. I think that you're supposed to go all out for people you love. I think you're supposed to try. I think you're supposed to uh, treat everybody with a level of certain respect and decency. And I, I think if it costs you skin. That's the price you pay for being a human being. When did you know you was going to be a comedian? Nah, I never thought about that. I never, like, I always knew I was, like, I was real dumb. So chicks would always laugh at me. And, <laughs> and so I, you know, dudes that can either hustle or be sport or play sports or make chicks laugh. That's how you, 
Got ass. That's true. When I was a kid, that was what my career choice was. I wanted to be a com a, a com a comedian, and I wanted to be like a voiceover person. Like, hello and welcome to Movie Phone. Well, shit, that's the best shit ever. <laughs> I swear, I that's what her. I wanted to Who be. Who is she? I want her. You are the dopest shit ever. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm a little tired today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you ain't on energy. <laughs> See what that's like. <laughs> I told you about that. I told, didn't we have a conversation about that? What? I switched because, first of all, you're not even drinking your bourbon. Yeah, look, we got I switched to too. I ain't going to lie. That bourbon I is I got on back it. to it. I drank the whole they bourbon. They go my side, baby. She's I still tried. with me. My side, <laughs> baby. Side, baby's still here. Side, baby's But say, let's keep it real. Side, babies are like rescue dogs. They ain't happy. <laughs> You ever get you a rescue dog? Them dogs? Got a rescue dog. Oh rescue dog be like, I don't Maggie care what you're thinking. Maggie is a rescue dog. Maggie is a rescue dog. Of course, you a side baby. You yeah. always have a rescue dog. She do got a rescue dog. Of course. <laughs> rescue dogs is just shit. They know they was this close to going out. Maybe. Listen, I always say she been through the system. Like, listen, she been listen, through the system, so she ain't gonna don't mind her. She been through the system. She don't bark. She loyal. She loved me to death. She's very loyal. Mm. You know why? She knows she is. <laughs> and she's like, we the same. <laughs> Y'all be doing that shit on the cover. You and I must never. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all All right. So listen, I, we appreciate you for coming through. We Thank had a really you, big baby. Listen, this is a big deal. D.L. Hughley was here. One of our biggest guests ever. And you told some um, great stories. I was like, what are we going to talk to him about? You know? Yeah. I don't know. I'm glad y'all didn't do no chicken. And you the fucking... What? Dopest shit ever. Oh, thank you so much. Next time you get drunk, call me, goddammit. Oh, man. She's gonna be naked and throwing shit. Oh, I'm a mess when I'm drunk. I told you I can't drink Offer no more. Offer her another, I mean, try. Yeah, she might drink. I'm fine. She's like, well, I can't do it. I'm fine. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, see, I don't like, want to be one of them dudes. No, but that's another thing. I have a, a drinking creepy. problem. I can't just have a shot. Just can't have a little, Once I little drink, thing. I got to drink the going. whole bottle. I fucking love you. Like, I'm serious. <laughs> He's the best ever. It's true, right? It's you true. know what I always wanted to ask you? What? How? Oh, no, DL. How long has your name been <laughs> she DL? Said what? Because then the term DL came about, and I felt yeah. like that had to suck. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, well, really. Actually. <laughs> They're like, this nigga do it so much, he didn't name that thing. <laughs> that, was a, that was a rough, like the first time I ever, like when I grew up, it was, uh, uh, DL was baseball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was that in baseball? Yeah, I'm trying to uh, figure it DL out. is a uh, disabled list. <laughs> it was what? Disabled list. Oh, sports. Disabled list. Okay. Be, oh, the disabled list. Yeah. So your nickname was disabled? <laughs> well, my, my, my name is Daryl Lynn. But <laughs> this is getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> He sucks on his dick. He just made him disabled. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, and then, uh, <laughs> there's no way around it. And then there was like, then it came, became down low. I guess right. some dude was on the on the download and everybody was I reading it and shit and I was like I'm stuck with the name <laughs> cause I always felt like I don't wanna just call you DL and you I'm, I'm out there deep name. nigga I'm the fucking poster child <laughs> 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 oh, it, it, and, I, and I remember somebody said you down low I'm like what <laughs> Mm. But it, but I. <laughs> that nigga do it so much, he got the initial. <laughs> like Betty no, Ford, they named the clinic after her. I, I just, I just laughed because I thought about it like down low. <laughs> Wait, you I, didn't know that's what we was no. talking about this whole time? No, I did, but I just thought about it and it made me laugh. You are fucking hilarious. <laughs> Where do they make you at? I like her. In Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's just certain names that suck. Like if you're a white girl named Becky, and right. then the song Becky came out, or like when Erica Badu put out Tyrone. Tyrone. Then, right. Tyrone. Stephanie went through it with Stephanie. Stephanie, Heffany. Yeah, yeah, yeah she was just Thank God that's over. Thank God that's over. Thank God that's over. It's so, yeah. yeah it's like, Thank God that's over. And some dude said it to me in fucking Memphis or something. What'd he say? <laughs> what he say? I was like, he's like, he's, Did anybody yeah, ever he's try like, you because of that? Like, uh, you ever, we know you on the But well, you know what's the funny thing about it is? I've never, this is probably horrible, but nobody has ever, like, gay dudes don't come on me, white will come on to me. Does that offend you? Like, I'm, yeah, I'm like, hey man, I'm attractive. Right. <laughs> when I was a little, when I was a young dude, this dude, I, I was a little boy, he was a cat. I can't say his name. Cause <laughs> when, just, say y'all, it. y'all run say this shit it. just to be. But he used to, he used to, he was a Boy Scout leader and he used to have all little boys over his house and he was not, he was knocking them off. 
but he never did it to me. So the little boys leave the house crying and with candy in their hands. Damn. Oh, yeah. shit. Like, you want some candy? I'm like, nah, not that bad. And I was like, <laughs> and then years later, I went, like, no one. like, but your name is DL. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> no one's ever tried to fondle me. Wow. I've never been and fondled. And we hear all these Harvey Weinstein stories. You had your own show. None you of got, that shit. You've never been on a casting couch. Never. Uh, Harvey we, Weinstein fucked everybody except Siri, didn't he? <laughs> everybody except Siri. Yeah, oh my god! And now you hear about Kevin Spacey. You hear about all these people, yeah. and it's like, damn, nobody ever. Did. All the people getting my father, and nobody touched me inappropriately. <laughs> Listen, that Corey Feldman is doing a whole documentary <laughs> about this whole ring in Hollywood of pedophiles. Mm, you know mm-hmm. that, and I'm sure you had to hear stories about it though, even before all. I this. know, but I was so forlorn because nobody touched me. <laughs> And that, that shit ain't happening at like BET and stuff. You know, yeah, you got BET ain't got enough money to be pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> BET ain't got enough money to be pedophile. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna let you. <laughs> ooh, ooh, look, if you. If you <laughs> but you did. You if did. you let me touch you, you can be on Comic View. That ain't work. No. But you, you can be Miss Cleo sidekick now. No, no thanks. <laughs> but you did know about Bill Cosby, you know. I did. I had an argument with Bill Cosby. Yeah, I remember Here. you said that we never will get to hear it. Yeah, you never will get there. Because well, we were at uh, what was that? Uh, it was a uh, radio kiss. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was kiss here, and I was hosting a radio show, and um, me, Jackie Reed, cat named Steve Wilson, were hosting the show. Bill Cosby calls in to do his interview, mm-hmm. and he uh, he's a dick, being obnoxious. I know he don't like me, so I go. I'll let them do the radio. Why so, he didn't like you? Just because, because he didn't I like did you Def using Jam. Language. He didn't. Yeah, he, uh, we did Def Jam, and you know, it was some old. He just philosophically didn't agree with the way I did comedy. So right. he's doing this interview with Jackie and Steve, and he's being such a dick. After 10, 15, 10, 10, 5, 10 minutes, I go, "Hey, Mister Cosby, what is it you like us to know?" And he goes. Who is this? I go, D.L. D.L. Hughley. And you say nigga. And you do this. <laughs> I said, with no offense, Mr. Kazi. I say nigga, but no chick has ever woken with her drawers on backwards. Cause I Ooh. To Touche. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I always, we, uh, you could have been my son. I said, I'm not your son. I said, I've never disrespected the way you do comedy. I said, uh, but, but, but in terms of, 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 wh- I'm a father. I've never, you know, the shit I've never done. And you, you, you just shit on my life because you have a certain purview, but you've done things that are morally repugnant or, or words like that. Mm-hmm. We back, uh, go, go back and forth. He says that he said, get something about this, this interview ain't going to happen. I like the fuck it ain't. <laughs> and five or 10 minutes later, the people from Emmys communications oh, came down and pulled it. Mm. Yeah, they destroyed that. And and like and I'm like, so I knew what I've never done, what I've never understood, and I've admitted here that I, and not just here, how cowardly and weak I've been at times in my life, but what I've never done is is to take something from somebody. Mm-hmm. And I thought that this idea that because you are this or that, you should be able to to extract a thing for somebody, like to take something from somebody, mm. to dr- why drug a woman when lies and bullshit work just as good? <laughs> <laughs> same drug, right? Almost. Right, same right. effect. It's the it's same. It's like a shit. fetish, though. It seems like it's some type of like mental issue, it's a power thing. I yeah, think. it's, it's something a, wrong with it's you. A way of control. It is. Mm-hmm. If I and so people and people, I remember people got mad at me because I, 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 I said it, but. There's no discernible difference between Weinstein or Cosby or Spacey or Trump. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. They're privileged people. You can say that Bill Cosby was a white man, a black man, but he still did shit to black man, but he still did shit that white men do. And people think that he didn't do anything because they say he never got convicted of anything. OJ didn't get victim. Listen, you took that, you snatched <laughs> that off uh-huh. my tongue so fast. OJ, because I was about the same thing. But we've all heard the Cosby stories. They used to call her Mister um, Dope and Grope. Yeah, <laughs> but like growing up, like even when I had that argument with him, it was an article in Peep. Oh, I forgot what magazine, and, and it was on the sixth page. I remember Oprah stopped fucking with him because he he did. So stop. Mm-hmm. You I'm should. not gonna lie. When I was little, my mom told me stories about Bill Cosby. She knew some lawyer or somebody. 
that she said that um, he did that to her. She was like, if you ever are alone, don't ever be alone with Bill Cosby. My mom used to tell me that when I was mad young. Why, first of all, why would I ever be in a room with Bill Cosby? Well, I wasn't. He never tried to touch me. Oh, Shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> Can somebody one. touch D.L. Hughley, please? Please. Another Thank one. you. Oh, don't stop the need to reach out. Get to it. Let's hit him. Lawsuit. Get to it, God damn it. <laughs> I swear to God, I close the Bronx down. You don't start touching me, God damn it. <laughs> Wait, did she say she was from the Bronx? I you just guessed that. Oh, no, you're no. not really from, um, you're from Manhattan. I'm from Manhattan. Chelsea, but... You from Chelsea. How'd you make it that far? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not Chelsea in, in the United Kingdom. Chelsea in New York City. I know what it is. <laughs> United Kingdom. You ain't from the Grand Concourse? What type of shit no, is this? No, but actually, I am from the Grand Thank Concourse. Thank God. There you go. How that's, did you know that? That's what I said. He said no, that. He got it from the block. He got it from the block. That's insane. I've had an apartment here, I guess. Swear no, but I grew up in uh, Chelsea because my mom lived there, so that's where I went to school and a lot of my friends were. But my grandmother lived on 198 in the Concourse. Of course she how do you know that? Where's Gigi from? Amen. Uh, where's she from? See, she's kind of. Uh, Look at her smiling. She's trying to see if you can get it. I wonder if he yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What's oh, you your last take name? Take a shot. My last name. Yeah. Her real last name. Bolton. Bolton. What Michael. are you? What are you? I'm. I'm black. You, it's from? not Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Queens. Where? She's not from, I'm not from New, York. New York. Oh, what the fuck? I thought you were talking about Philly. She's from Philly. Oh, well, that's shit. you beautiful. How are you from Philly? Oh, <laughs> Amber Rose. It's you, Amber Rose, Amber. Vivian Green, and and uh, and uh, and Jill Scott are the only beautiful women from That's Philly. not true. Yeah. Uh, All the mother bitches look like they've been in the fire. But. Gigi, gonna shout out. Shout out some of your beautiful sisters in Philly. There's a lot of beautiful people in Philly. Where they like at? Like Santi Gold. They in Cherry Hill. <laughs> Cherry Hill is Jersey. <laughs> that, that's what I was gonna say. They in <laughs> uh, Bucks County. They're not, they're not. It's no beautiful women in Philly. Oh, don't. That's not. Don't do that. You know it's true. Why you guys saying that? <laughs> Do you, have you ever seen beautiful women in Philly? I have. You was in look fucking mirror. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's some beautiful. Women. My best friend's from Philly, and she's beautiful mm-hmm. too. To you? No, she no, is. She, is she really is. Very she really is. My really. best friend is from Philly, and she's beautiful. She's Gigi. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Where did you get her at? I, I need to. And you see, Meek Mill just got sentenced to two to four years. Yeah. Oh, Why? Poor Meek. Um, violating probation. Who hasn't? He just want to stand. He want to be T.I. so bad. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Why you say T.I.? Because T.I. was always you in never, and out of jail. You never been to jail? You know, so he got his yes. life together. Like for how long? He in and out of jail. The Hopefully longest he get I've been was 30 together. days. Where what? would you go to jail for 30 days? Well, I went to jail in New York in 1996. For what? Because I had a gun at the... What? At the, <laughs> I didn't know it was illegal to have a gun. Okay. okay. Well, 30. 30. Oh, but I not, I didn't, longer than that. Well, oh. shit. Oh, damn. I went to jail, but in New York, the day that they... Uh, announced that my show was getting picked up by ABC. Wow. And then you went to jail? What? I went to jail the night before. You didn't lose your show, though, did you? No, no that, they still picked it up. Went. Okay, that's good, because oh, okay. you know they could have fronted on you. Yeah, but that was before they had Twitter and shit, like yeah, they were back no, off. Media, they so I got arrested, and I went to, what, what, what y'all call Rikers? that? Uh, Central uh, Booking? <laughs> no, it's a, y'all have 24-hour court. Oh, yeah. 24-hour court. Mm-hmm. So I go, I get arrested, I play the gig, I, I got arrested at JFK, K. I play the gig... The, the night before I got caught with a pistol at JFK go to court at oh, 10 o'clock in the night 10 o'clock at night the judge says uh, Mr. Julie would have to impose significant bail and they, they said it's $10,000 and my business manager was there and she said you're going to have to give us $1,000 you can't go I'm like nigga shit give it her I'm out <laughs> and I go back to LA then um, I get Dave Becky who's my manager and Kevin Hart's manager he's been my manager for all the time he goes, nobody's ever going to find out about it. ABC picks me up. I walk through the airport with my wife. And all on the TV, D.L. Yeah. Hughley got arrested. Damn. With Damn. It was horrible. Well, who told? But that wasn't. Everybody told. <laughs> but to keep Everybody it real, told. that's not a bad one. It ain't like you did. Yeah, it ain't like you, you just did. Didn't know. No. Yeah, it ain't like you No, because when no I landed harm. and I had a. Uh, there wasn't this, no bodies on the gun. And this cat named Murray Richmond, who represented uh, DMX. Mm. Said, if you have thirty grand, you'll never go to jail. Like, yeah, that motherfucker, thirty grand. I did not go to jail because it was a class D felony. He told DMX yes. that too. Yeah, twenty five. Right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't. Yeah, twenty five times. Yeah. <laughs> Murray and that motherfucker came to court uh, with essential booking. What y'all have? Central yeah, essential booking. Yeah. 
That you know we know. Yeah. <laughs> I had never heard no shit like that. They put me in jail, right? And they made me take my tennis shoes off, my, my strings off my tennis shoes. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and the, the cops left my door open. They're like, this is the cell Anthony Mason for the Knicks was in. <laughs> and they left my cell open. And so... The, I bought the guards dinner and lunch and shit. That's so they would keep I'm like, I'm not going to, I'm not going in a regular cell. Right. Because like in LA, if you go to jail in LA, they have high power, which means like people VIP that, cell. It's like. Wait, so they got VIP jail? Well, they now? got like Sean Penn was right next to the Night Stalker when he was in jail. That's mm. crazy. They don't have you, they don't have, so. I said, y'all ain't got no cell. <laughs> no, 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 no. You with everybody. And so then, uh, so I buy the, the the fucking people lunch and they kept the door open. I was on the phone. My uh, lawyer comes. He so takes me So you wasn't really in jail. You was in No, I'm talking jail. about here, but, but I went to jail in L.A. for 30 days when I uh, got kicked out of high school and got cut with a gun charge. My mother wouldn't let me out. She's like, I'm, I'm going to let sit. you see how this work out. For 30 days, so 30 days, did you masturbate? That's not You know, I didn't start masturbating until I was 32 or something. Why? You was a late masturbator. Mm -mm. Why? Aren't you supposed to masturbate more when you're younger? Yeah, Yeah, but I always got ass. Oh, yeah, because you was fucking since 10. Yeah, I was like, (laughs) I had this girl named, named, her name was, I ain't gonna say her name because she lived on the street, but she had a small ponytail. She still lived on the street from you? She had a small ponytail. She had a little ponytail and a big jaw. She looked like, kind of like a gorilla, but she was so. (laughs) That jaw. Oh, I was like, you you are wonderful. So what made you start masturbating? One time I was, they had this thing called the Spice Channel. Oh, I remember the Spice Channel. Yeah, when it was free. And you I remember like, when you used to flip the channels and then we would catch a little glimpse? Yeah, look. <laughs> no, I used to steal cable so you got it all for free. And, I, and, I, and I caught it one time when my wife was mad at me for getting busted for doing some bullshit. So you like, like, I'm just masturbate. I didn't, th- I didn't even think about it. All of a sudden, I'm so lazy and masturbate, I'll fall asleep with my hand on my dick. I'll be like... <laughs> That's when you know. <laughs> that's when you know you're lazy. Yeah, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm too lazy to bust this no, nut. Seriously, you're supposed to bust a nut and then fall asleep. asleep you're so fucking wonderful. I, I, <laughs> no, I, I swear to God. Like I'm too lazy to get to the to the end. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't talk <laughs> dirty to me. Right. That's a good sleep right. when you masturbate and fall asleep. Really? Sometimes. Sometimes. That's when you know you're lazy when you can't even talk dirty to you. And then go to sleep. Because I feel like you know how to make yourself come really quick mm-hmm. if you want to. Yeah, yeah really yeah. quick. Yeah, like you know what you know what to do for yourself, so you know how to just do it real quick. Mm. That's the whole point of it. Uh, I'm just too romantic. I'm I'm really sometimes myself. I do it with my other hand so I think it's somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> it's a stranger. <laughs> how you I doing? Nice longer. to meet you. <laughs> this is not me. <laughs> Under your legs. So horrible. <laughs> I think it's a longer <laughs> process with a guy than it is for a girl. Really? Yeah, I do think that. Because if I ever, like, done it or seen somebody do it, whatever the case, like, I can make myself come faster than... Girls masturbating is sexy. Guys masturbating looks like animals. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does. I like how... Oh, I'm my like, eye! <laughs> I Girls like masturbating is like... Gigi, you're not gonna back a guy me up. I like, like how it looks. <laughs> a guy. Wait, wait, you like you like how a guy? I like. No. I do. Side baby, it, Gigi, it looks, don't be no, like that. It looks, it looks good when it's like a nice looking penis. Yeah, exactly. Because like a guy big, can't romantically masturbate. It looks guys have weird. big hands, so if they got a little dick and they masturbate and they look like. Right, that's true. <laughs> you oh gotta God. have a big. A you nice guys are fucking dick. wonderful. I gotta take y'all with me. You gonna push? Put a guy that masturbates with two hands. Yeah. 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 The like hands. I used to go to I used to go to this this joint here. I don't even know why we I'm even having this guy. But I used to pl- stay at this place called the Royalty here, right? And it's on forty fourth. My favorite hotel before I got an apartment here. So I would go to the Royalty. And back then they had to bring you the the, the porn came in a tape, so they had to give it to you, right? No. So you would call down and you would say, hey, I want uh, Give us an uh, example. Black Rods Latin Bods. <laughs> <laughs> volume 10. Volume 10. <laughs> so they would bring it up and then they would ask you, do you want something else? No, bitch, I don't, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you want popcorn? And I'm saying, 
<laughs> now they probably wanted to help they you. Would, they would bring it to you. It <laughs> was, popcorn. It was hilarious. Most of the popcorn. They're like, you need anything they, else? Need, you ever make like it to the right, table? You need an extra hand? No. <laughs> you ever try you to hold? Else? You ever try to hold out while you're watching porn? Like I don't want to come just yet. I'm just yeah, gonna yeah, hold. Yeah, out. I have. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have. Yeah, or you got nice. that one part of their favorite porn? That yeah, you yeah. Do yeah, you do you listen? Do you watch porn with volume or no volume? Yeah, cool. what? You, you are, I, I, you I are truly my side, side, baby. <laughs> side, baby. Why? I like the I noise. I like the noise. Yeah. I like I want to hear it. I don't want to hear you, bitches. You like? A, you care about the plot? Nah, I don't think I care about the plot. It certainly sounds I care about. Yeah. Like, like, how did this shit get started? Where this? Do you like it when it's consensual or non-consensual porn? You using too much big words I'm just to asking. me. <laughs> Where they, you like it when a girl is like with it or when she's like no, no. Oh, oh. and then they talk into <laughs> it. I like I like to, I like, I like when, she I kinda, when she's not with it. I yeah, like it me too. <laughs> No, I like it when the, when it's when it's lesbian porn and the one girl not with it, but then the other girl talk her into it. You're the fucking it, this is the I like best. I, like I, like I, like I don't look at the beginning. That's when I like non consensual to like a the certain part, part. Yeah, I'm like, let me skip. Fuck all this talking shit. Where are they gonna start fucking? Yeah, yeah, I do that. Sometimes. And what's really good is that now you could like look at it and you can see like yeah, where, where you at with it. You're like, all right, like like scenes through. from She's The Walking Dead. Right here, right here. All right, let me start right here. I never knew that about y'all. <laughs> that like was I perverts. Know. Like I, was, I, I always didn't think it was so destination specific. <laughs> With yeah. women? Yeah, I didn't. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. I like men, like a man and a woman porn. Like a, you know. Yeah. So I watch should, everything. Yeah. I like. I like. Uh oh. <laughs> I like either two chicks. An old chick. Oh, old chick. That's the no, only thing I don't like. Oh. I like old chicks who are shocked at the thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? This, is, this nigga not going with my walker. <laughs> That's uh, oh, damn. Like that that old lady that, porn. They call that sen- um, century porn or something like that. I thought he meant milk. It's like, called like century. I don't like milk. I like old chicks. Who no, know. it's called like century. Who ever seen Dick in the Wild? I'm going to tell you the name. It's like century. I cracked the rim. No. I did. Dentures I falling out on the dick. I can't. I can't. Uh, I don't want to see that. I can't. Uh, That's the only one. Yeah. I, 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 I dig those. I think it's called Centurion porn. Let me look at this up. Yeah, I watch any other porn except for. Yes, it's called Centurion. Yeah. How do you know this though? Because you be watching it too. No, I don't watch that. I just know a lot about porn because I've met a lot of porn stars in my life. I met. Well, you, you know, I live in the valley, so I've seen. Like that's where they shoot all the porns. I remember exactly. before. Maybe what's her name? The big fun. chick, the real big chick. BBWs? No, no, nah, nah, she's big a long time ago. Who? The chick. Uh, Which one? Has had the hunter. What does she look nah, like? She's a white chick. She changed the game. Oh, uh, what was the other? Um, uh, I think you know Janet. Janet. Sarah Janet, Janet. Janet. Yeah. Oh. I knew. I, I got a years ago. I got a copy of her first shit with the dude. Uh, that did it for her. Like the first shit. I worked out at the gym with him. And he said, yeah, this is a little hot chick. And it was Jenna Jameson. No. When she was afraid of dick. Like when she, <laughs> when was, she was afraid. She couldn't take the dick in this first and it one. Was, but and it was so, and then years later, now she just changed the game. What? Does it ever throw you up when you're watching porn and it's like um, the dick is all in the screen and you're like watching it and then all of a sudden she kind of fuck everything up like they what focus is it, on bootleg di- what are you what you are know you how like you'll be watching you'll be watching like the porn and then all of a sudden it focuses on like his balls and dick and no. you're like oh come on I was about to I'll do that. <laughs> what I don't like is when the dude is having too much fun like one thing about porn over there really got the good the guys be lame why do guys always I'm fuck sorry. with their boots or their sneakers I hate right. that They're, shit only black Oh I was watching like porn go. Like the market. And, and this nigga was on <laughs> the He was on the massage table Butt booty, booty hole naked With some boots on yeah. some boots Timberland like Always And a watch Always Tim And a watch uh, It's always a watch A big thing Wait this is what you like <laughs> No, not that. <laughs> Wait, you show us. Look at nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. Spill the whole drink. Sorry, I'm no, sorry. that's all right. I'm sorry, I got Side it. Side baby, keep. Look, look, look. I don't want to see that. You're not yeah, yeah, Gigi like on the seat. No, I'm fine. That look like the the red dude from Braveheart. I don't Did like she that. Take her dentures out before she started sucking that dick like that. You say you like old women. No, I don't like. She's older than. What what age is old? Like when we say the old. Like, I like old. He's chick. getting his dick sucked, but he looks disgusted. Oh, he's not. <laughs> and have you ever had sex with an old lady? Like, <laughs> yeah, my wife. Were you? Crazy? No, I mean, like when you were younger. Yeah. For real. When I was thirteen. 
Well, he said my wife. <laughs> was a great name. Her name was Michonne, right? Uh-huh. So I'm 13 years old. And uh, she used to always come in the neighborhood. She had a little, what, what they call it, to- Toyota? I don't even remember. What, <laughs> what, what do you drunk people Dotson. call it, it Toyota? <laughs> it, remember Dotson B210. She had one of those. And she had a shirt with her name on it and said Michonne. Oh, so I, used to, I was like 12 or 13, and I had knocked off the ugly chick named Shona. So I thought, I'm I'm... I know what I'm doing. So I would always talk to her and I'd always say, girl, I could, I could, I'd tear that ass. Well, I was 13 so, <laughs> or 12. I'd tear so, that ass. Or 10. So she said, no, you won't. And she would always say shit. So one day she said, I said, I would do it. And, and Angela, she said, well, get in the car. So I go to her car. She had this shitty ass apartment. So we go to the apartment. I'm thinking, I've, I've been with this broad in my neighborhood. I, said, I know what I'm doing. And she's like 23 or 24. Uh, molestation. I'm 13. It wasn't. Oh, my God. It is. It wasn't. I, what? So I go, and uh, we go in a room, and she was mi- rough. And I was like, this is, I don't want you to be like this. Like, <laughs> what do you mean by rough? She was like, she would do it hard. Like She, <laughs> she was, was trying to get fucked. She was saying, yeah. And I was like, I don't know what this is. And she would make shit, like 13. she would make shit with, with onions and stuff like that. I'm like, what? I don't like this. She's like, shut up, take it. And she would smoke in the bed. Ew. And she would always come get me. She would always, like in the neighborhood, she would come get me. And everybody thought I was so cool because I had this older chick who had a name. She's disgusting for that, by the way. She's not disgusting. She was, she was a wonderful woman. That's disgusting. And she would have, she would have uh, like she would buy me uh, games, but I could only play them there. <laughs> She would buy me clothes. I was going to buy there. And one time she gave me head, and I didn't know what that was. I'm 13. And it was hard. I was like, that's rough. She said, shut up. You don't ever say that when somebody's sucking your dick. Oh, my God. I, and it was it was like a rough, like, I remember when she would pull up. You're, like, abused. And the dudes yeah. would be like, oh, nigga, you going to get that? I'm like, yeah. And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> You said nobody touched you. So, you no, well, she was that was, That wasn't rape. <laughs> yes, it is. That's not at all. That's, that's, yeah, that's rape. Right. You didn't even enjoy it. You didn't even enjoy it. You just said no, you no, was I crying. No, no, I did. I just didn't like her. No, I didn't want to be with her. I thought I had to marry her. I, I wanted. I liked. I liked how. I, you thought you had to marry her because you were having sex. Because I'm 13. So my, one time she pulls up. And she honks her whore, and I go out good and come. My mother's outside watering the grass. Your mother and she is? said, who is this? Who, who is, who's this old bitch? Who is this bitch right here? She said, who are you? She said, uh, oh, my name is, is Sean. And she said, uh, what are you doing? She said, oh, he's my friend. She said, what? how old are you? She said, 23. You know he's 13? Bitch, if you ever come around here, I'll kill you. That's so damn I, right. So take your ass in the house. And I hey, remember buddy, I remember walking to the back, <laughs> and, and my back was in him and going, thank you. Because I never wanted to, I See like, that is taking advantage is, of No I, I liked it But I didn't want her To no, be you mean But let's keep it real you're, If your son If that happened to him You would be fucking horrified My son has Asperger's syndrome, So I want him to get All the pussy he no, can have No stop it my You son still pi- don't My son hires hookers I don't even care no, he How doesn't. Old he? He's 28, but he oh. has he's retarded, so it's... it's uh, <laughs> Stop it. It's true. Why do you I know, ask I me? I know he's autistic, but I'm saying, listen, you still don't want that at 13 years old. You wouldn't have wanted that. You don't want anybody mm. to rape him. Come on now. Why do you say dumb shit like it's, that? It is. Like, that's that's, that's right. But as a man, he it's want his son rape. to get some pussy. You was crying saying, going right? to the Only because he didn't slow down. <laughs> that is not why. You were traumatized and you were not it. I wasn't DL. You need to go to therapy. Remember I wasn't we talked traumatized about therapy? at all. Can we get a therapist? Can we get yeah. him on I wasn't traumatized at all. I just didn't want to, I just wanted to say, like she she would say, pull my hair. I'm like, why? You're a person. Your mom got in your mind so much. But I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't not like it. I just didn't want to. No, you won't admit that you didn't like it because you feel like you were. You supposed to like it. No, you you like I you know what man. I like. You didn't like Yee. it. You didn't like it. I did like it. No. I just didn't like her cooking shit with onions or smoking <laughs> in the bed, in the bed. or 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 t- like saying mean shit to me. <laughs> I like, like when she said, you take like your like, dicks up. Ow. <laughs> Where does I it don't go? I know where your pussy right. is. <laughs> and you have to admit, something had to be wrong with her to do that with a 13 year old. I don't think that's wrong with her. 23 years old. I would never look at a 13 year old in my life. There's Except a few if I was teachers 13. out there that's in jail for that right now, you know. Yeah, but they weren't her. She was beautiful. And she's a sweet girl. She was But sick. her dude was like, like a dude that had been mean to her. So what if your daughter's so brought a 13 year old? How about that? If my daughter's about on a 13 year Yes. 
<laughs> I send, well, <laughs> come exactly. on now. What's the okay. difference? Drink that bourbon my, if you want. My daughters are too stuck up to do some shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> what if they were cooking with onions and bread? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she would do that. Like, I didn't like onions. She like, shut up. Like, <laughs> eat these onions and eat this to. pussy. <laughs> yeah. You know what she told me that was the coolest shit ever? Like, I, she said, she said, when, when a woman's doing something from you, don't ever let her feel like you're not enjoying it and don't ever let her feel like you're not in charge that's I love I learned that she was like why are you crying the onions (laughs) (laughs) why are you crying because you're sucking your dick too hard ouch that hurts and you're cooking with onions (laughs) and she was smoking the bed like I'm 13 bitch how you smoking terrible (laughs) you came home smelling like cigarettes and onions and pussy and copper right <laughs> she was smoking the bed. I never saw no shit like that. Shona didn't do that. This is terrible. This she is just... the funniest child molestation <laughs> story I've ever heard. <laughs> it was. It was. He's not, still traumatized. Was, yeah. if you don't know. Oh, traumatized. She was, a, she was a sweet girl. Don't it doesn't ju- sound don't very sweet. I'm never not eat onions lie. again after you, this you story. Right. No. Can just we still go you. back and get her arrested? <laughs> Who is this? Where are you, like, bitch? Sexual limitations up for that. Breed. I'm 53. She'd be 60. So we gotta fuck her. Do you ever Google something? like people you used to have sex with? And I can't see tell what the you. Fuck they look like. It was a girl. I won't tell you her last name, but she gave me crabs. No. And now she she's an evangelist. School. Wow. So I see her. My name is Evangelist. Such a set. And I'd be like. You, you, your kid, your, your church members don't know you gave me crabs when I was 15. Oh my God. She probably got it from the pastor. I, don't know, I was 15 years old and I used to knock this bread off, right? So I, my appendix was, why am I telling you? All this <laughs> shit gets wrong. I'm, I fuck your podcast. <laughs> no, go ahead. What happened with the crabs in the appendix? So I'm 15 years old. I, my, my appendix, I'm like, I'm real sick. They take me to the doctor. And uh, so they take my appendix out, right? So when I work up, the nurse, she leans over. She goes, cough, baby, cough, because you have to cough when you have surgery. I don't even know why. She said, uh, you have crabs. No. Because oh, they have to shave all your hair up. So I, I didn't want to tell my mother I had itching? crabs. I they was, didn't help was, you? Was, <laughs> help you? Did you see the My crabs? insurance don't cover crabs. No, I didn't even. Because I feel like they used, I've seen pictures of them, and they'd be, like, crawling around. But like, I was a kid, so I tell my uncle, I said, Uncle Butch, I gotta have this medicine <laughs> so I can, because because the surgery they cut my 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 hair off and it's gonna itch. And that motherfucker went and got and he came back and he closed the door. He said, "Nigga, you made me go down there and get this medicine. You looking me. crazy? You got crabs and I got white pants on." Oh. <laughs> well. I, awful. I got to man. I used to go through it. D.L. Hughes, we learned so much. <laughs> yes. This you was know, None great. of this shit going to make it, but I had the best It's time. all going to make it. Oh, it's, it's all going to make it. It's all making it. Trust and believe. Shout out to your wife for dealing with all this shit. <laughs> no, no, I didn't have crabs when I had her. Uh, no, I'm talking about in general. Hopefully not. You came I into think. the relationship with a lot of luggage. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you came with a lot of baggage. Yeah. As a battered child. A lot of things child. crawling around. <laughs> I wasn't a battered child. <laughs> <laughs> Sean loved me and she's a sweet girl oh. and you're sitting here judging her love <laughs> I'm judging her <laughs> okay I'm sorry you understand don't you <laughs> I'm not judging I'm not judging <laughs> you know crabs never goes away yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember sitting in the tent Stephanie trying to better drown be them. <laughs> they lay eggs. I know. Oh, I had that, that little comb. It was oh, horrible. Oh, no, you had a little comb. It was horrible. I used to go through it. You didn't even have it. no hair to comb because they cut it all out. Well, what no, I had half. They only cut half. Uh-huh. Did you? you know, so you never saw one of the crabs like walking around? Yes. Oh, that must have been a terrible yes. feeling. I was a, I was a horrible kid. <laughs> I really, I can, I, I can't blame my mother for not liking me. I was horrible. <laughs> I, so I can't. Well, look at how great you turned out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so now. Minus a couple of things. Right. <laughs> All right. I would, I would have a son like me. You would? Well, my son's retarded, but he's still a sweet kid. <laughs> well, then he's like you. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're, so, you're so hurtful. If I didn't respect you so much, I'd walk out with my half empty glass of bourbon. You gotta take cup. the bottle with you, too. <laughs> yes, that's yours. Okay, no one's drinking that later. All right, Dio Hughley, thank you so much for joining thank us. You, we really dog. had a I great had a time. Make sure you check out his show, too. You don't want to talk about your show at yeah. all? Oh, wait, wait. We got, uh, we have, uh, 
We have uh, my show on the, uh, what the fuck am BT. I talking about? <laughs> well, no, we have BT Comedy yeah. Get Down with me, Eddie Griffin, Charlie uh, Murphy, Charlie Murphy uh, Cesar Antenna, and George Lopez. What, you know, Charlie, you know, he, he passed, right? Yes. So Charlie, uh, I'd always loved Charlie. Mm-hmm. So we had his church at a, a funeral at a church, and I don't like going to church. So I went to Charlie's funeral because it was Charlie. But the funeral was so long. Like five hours later, I was like, I wish I was dead. Why am I not dead? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. What? I want to oh die. Long funerals are the worst. <laughs> well, Charlie Murphy did lip service when I was at Sirius way back in the day. He's the fucking. He was really good. That's crazy. G- George Lopez. Let me, George Lopez, we were doing this thing for. And I know y'all going to have to cut it up. I know you're tired. But no, fuck no, it, you no, we're good. <laughs> so George Lopez calls everybody. He's doing this thing for Richard Pryor. Mm-hmm. And and so it was me and Sid and he called Epps and uh, he called Charlie and Eddie came on. So we go through this thing to get uh, uh, Eddie Griffin, I'm um, excuse me, uh, Eddie, uh, Richard Pryor statue. So when we get the, we play Peoria, Illinois, we have such a good time, we decide that we want to go on tour. And it's weird because blacks and Mexicans in L.A. don't get along at all. Right. Mm-hmm. So I've heard. It's like the only time you see them together is a prison riot. Oh, and damn. so Even those riots in L.A., they work together. That's yeah. like the only time you ever see them together. And it was it was brave of him to do something because it cost him a lot of fans. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot of a lot of wow. people. Why, why are you with those, what they call us? Miates. Oh, I don't know what they call us, but whatever it means, it means nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you would go to these gigs, and I remember playing a gig in San Antonio, and this cat who had just got out of the joint. And he, 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 uh, we would take these pictures and he was tatted up. He's a big Mexican kid and he shook my hand. And his, his old lady, uh, had tears in her eyes. He said, that's the first time he's ever shook a black man's hand. Oh, wow. wow. So when, so comedy brought that's great. us all together. together. Mm-hmm. And when I, one time we were playing a gig in Phoenix and George told this joke about this black chick and everybody's calling him racist. And I went, this dude, has risked his fan base because he loves the people he loves. Right. And that's, to me, what comedy means. It's, right. it's like, you're supposed to take chances. You're supposed to make motherfuckers not like you. Like, somebody gonna see this interview and hate something I said. Right. Listen, people watch these interviews and hate <clears throat> some of us sometimes. Yes. That's what it is. <laughs> not but, you. Oh, everybody they hates hate me. You. No, they don't. <laughs> of course. No. no. But you. people be like, stay here's my I'm sister always, in my head. It's funny because you came on here and you noticed, uh, you noticed Latina sitting next to you right away. And the people, I, so many people complain that I'm always talking about how I'm Latina on the show. I get that all the time. Really? You, you don't have to always say you're Puerto Rican. Like, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. I love being Puerto Rican. It's like my favorite thing in the world. It's my favorite thing in the world. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's his first time shaking a Puerto Rican's hand. No, no. <laughs> Not in my head, though. Oh. But it's, it's so, like, like it's, so, it's, it's, it's like so, I think comedy is, comedy is brave. Mm-hmm. And I think... Uh, the cats I love that do it, like like the Chappelles and the Rocks and the Lopez and the Sedge Entertainers and Eddie Griffin. Like you can't ever pick a side. You saw people were upset at Chris Rock just recently. Yeah, for telling some jokes about like uh, not wanting to hire women and women uh, because they want to say um, rape for money or something like that. I didn't. I wasn't there, so you know I don't know exactly what happened. It's, it's so funny. People would never have slaves, but they will have interns. Mm. Slaves, mm-hmm. <laughs> which are slaves that you can't sell. Mm-hmm. I think that we have a, just a some interns get paid. Yeah, <laughs> interns, no, that no interns that I heard get, get paid. paid. Yeah, the ones that I heard get paid. They do, they do. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. Because Certain internships get they do they get paid at iHeart. Not mine. I did a lot of internships. I ain't get paid for though. Me too. Well, you're black and Chinese. You build railroads and pick cotton. <laughs> I was definitely in there doing both. <laughs> you fucking dope. Let me tell you whether this makes it or not. I love Charlemagne. And I love Emmy. I think they're very talented. But I think it takes a unique human being to be heard between so distinctly different voices. And you don't do it in a loud way or an obtrusive way. Being you is enough to be clear. 
and you should always remember. That's why I was excited to see you. Well, thank you. That means oh, a lot to me. I was so excited. I was like, Dio Hughes does not even know who I am. That's not true. <laughs> but I'm excited. Thank you so much. We had a great time with you. Thank you, Doug. Now you got to come on the Breakfast Club next. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, well, my contract won't let me do that. Uh, oh, okay. Well, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a podcast too, right? Yeah. Okay, the Hughley so, Truth. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have Donna Brazil on. Oh, y'all don't shit. know. See, y'all don't even know who that is. Mm-hmm. Donna Brazil. <laughs> y'all don't even know who that is. Y'all like, uh, Honestly, I, I can don't. spell it. B-R-A-Z-I-L-E. <laughs> Keep doing you. I'm telling you, you're a bad little bro. <laughs> but I only like the black part of you, the Asian part. I, I, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Racism at its finest. Yes. <laughs> no, I just want to help them. I want them to help me with my homework, but I love them. <laughs> you ain't got no homework. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, lift service. We out of here. Oh, and don't forget, we have our live show coming November 28th at Highline Ballroom, the first ever lip service live. So make sure you buy tickets. I know we have it all posted in our Hit Instagram pages. Ticket. So make sure you come New through. New York City. <laughs> don't forget, today's episode is brought to you by Tripping.com. One search on Tripping.com lets you filter, compare, and sort over 10 million available properties on trusted sites like VRBO, TripAdvisor, Booking.com, and more. Don't wonder if you're getting the best deal on that New Year's Eve cabin or winter beach vacation. Save an average of 18% per night by booking with tripping.com. Bottom line, save time and money while